Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 127. Thank you for anyone who submits your gameplay. For those who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go through everything I can to hopefully help you improve. I think recording your gameplay and watching it back is one of the best ways to improve at pretty much anything. So if you are too shy to submit any gameplay, I still highly recommend recording your gameplay using OBS or Shadowplay and watching it back. I swear, it is one of the best ways that's helped me improve. I'm sure to help you improve. And today we have Heal Spot. So we have a little Panda Monk I noticed, which is awesome. I have a Panda Monk as well. And they say in the email, I've been watching, uh, I've been playing WoW for quite some time. A few months ago, I decided to play Mystery Monk, mostly solo show for your tutorials and videos are the ones that are the main ones I watch. I appreciate that. Uh, things were going well up to 1700. I almost started to believe that I am good. You, <laughs> 1700 is good. I listen to me. It took me three, three seasons to get to 1750 when I first started PVPing. So I promise you're doing better than me. Uh, after I reached 1700, I had four terrible games in a row. That happens. Um, I watched them several times. The main problem I know is uh, I panic and the chaotic keystroke, especially if I'm the target. I completely get that don't don't worry um i like your analysis i watch the gameplay regularly so i'm sending you these three games i would like to hear your advice that you would give me i got you yes yeah, so definitely one of the things about Mistweaver is trying not to overreact a lot of the times i won't even react to some damage because some there's just some damage that's just so unreal but you know and solo shuffle it is what it is um it, it's gonna happen you're gonna get bad games in a row you just gotta not take it too hard on yourself not don't be too hard on yourself there's gonna be lobbies that are good for you there's gonna be lobbies that are bad for you it is what it is so <clears throat> that's okay um today let's see we have we're panda first of all panda impeccable love it uh it looks like we're playing with a hunter and a feral druid potentially could be a boomy and then we have arms warrior havoc demon hunter so the kill target again this this is one of those comps i'm not this is one of those comps where um it's gonna be tough i feel like your kill target is gonna be the demon hunter hopefully you have to kill the demon hunter in a stun um and then our talents should be i'm trying to think um definitely eminence in case they hodge repentance you and then peace weaver disarm Pro oh zen sphere you want zen sphere drop peace weaver go eminence and then disarm so eminence disarm zen spheres is what i would play versus this um, I do see that we're playing Restoral, which is good. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, good job getting Mystic Touch up already. If we're playing Zen Spheres as well, uh, that's a hunt. Oh, there's a hunt. So, whoever they're doing, whoever they're hunting is going to be probably the main target. It looks like they want to hit uh, your Feral Druid, it looks like. No, no. Your Hunter. Okay. And your Feared right here. Let me actually see something real quick here. Stunned. Where's the, where's the animation for this fear? I could be I could be blind as well. Let me see. Because if you're playing Eminence, you could port this. So they hunt. Oh, it's right here. That's so weird. Yeah, I didn't even. I I would gotten fear too here. But if you're playing Eminence, you can port this stun and avoid this fear. I also see we're playing Zen Focus T, which is okay. The th the reason I wouldn't play Eminence or Zen Focus T versus this is because they own they don't really they don't have a ranged stun really or a ranged interrupt. Uh, great revival there. Um, do we trink it? No, no, good, good, good. No, we didn't have to trink it because I'm playing Restore, which is really great. Uh, maybe go for an in-cap here on the Holy Pally. I'm not seeing DRs on any of these guys, so you can go for a leg sweep on the DPS, in-cap the healer. Could be really good. Um, yeah, we are tracking DRs, which is good. And then, see, Blessing of Sacrifices are really annoying as well. This is like, by the way, Holy Pallies are Miss Weaver's Kryptonite. Um, the oh, blessing of sacrifice is like the defensive that's really annoying so what i normally do is i try to leg sweep it i think that's the best you could do that way they can't really recover and they're taking damage while their teammates taking damage it's hard it's 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 not fun but it is you know it is what it is uh, we got some good good healing going right now though um don't be if oh by the way i don't know if we're playing it i don't see oh there we go so uh right let me see, we start taking, don't we start taking damage at some point? Right here. Okay, so right here, you don't need to waste the globals right here to heal yourself up or the mana. Just use healing elixirs right here. Uh, they cost no mana. They're instant, which is really nice. So keep that in mind. You don't need to waste these globals, putting Envelope Mist, the Renewing Mist. I mean, you want to keep Renewing Mist on yourself, but you don't need to put Envelope Mist 
and like use these globals. Just use two healing elixirs and you're fine. And that way you can go back to healing your teammates. We also life cocoon there, which I didn't notice, but hopefully we're okay. Um, nice trap here. Would you track it? Trap into sack. So it's a it's nice sweep here. Really good. Good work. But I don't think we got Pally Trinket there. So we're kind of just a nice panda. DR's trap, but that's okay. And uh, Shaylin's Gift here is beautiful. Again, the really good Shaylin's Gift there. They don't have range kicks. The Demon Hunter is the only one that has a range kick. And if you stay far away from them, you're not like you're not going to get kicked. So I think you're fine. Good work. Just healing here. Watch out for good. Good job stopping repent from your, I think, your hunter there. Uh, a lot of healing going out right now. Good. Good. Rep. Careful. Careful. We get stunned. I think they break the rep there, which is thankfully good for you. Zen Focus T. We don't need to. So, yeah, Zen Focus T right now. You don't need to, uh, like, juke or anything. Yeah, we, we have Zen Focus T going right now. Don't freak out. Um, we don't even take advantage of it, which is, it, it's okay. I wouldn't even play Zen Focus T uh, into this. Um, you make sure you get where doing missed up on your teammates. I really like your healing, uh, like, bars. They're really cool. Uh, but, yeah, I think, let me see. So, one thing we're definitely missing out on is Renewing Mists. It's absolutely one of the most important things you need to put out. Because when you Renewing Mist, when you put Renewing Mist on people, the Vivify Cleave will heal everybody with Renewing Mist. So, that's very, very important. Um, and if you're running Haste, you're going to get more ticks from your Renewing Mist. And then you're also going to, if you have Misty Peaks, you're going to get more Enveloping Mist. So, just keep that in mind. Um, when you get as many Renewing Mists as possible... We are stunned here. I see we're trying to smash Yulon. Yulon, good shield there. Good. Life Cocoon, beautiful. Um, Positioning-wise, is a little. it's a little weird. Uh, you def definitely want to be behind the pillar or in the room. Pick one. It doesn't really matter which one you go to. Just try your best to um, not be in the middle. Uh, I think that was a lag spike from you, which is crazy. That was a crazy lag spike, actually. Rob, good on that cast. And yeah, you can just spam heal. Friends regen from your druid. Good. Get incapped. Oh, we might die. Oh, I feel like it was close. I don't know what we could do to. Uh, if if we're playing disarm, I don't know if we used it. Let me see. Yeah, if you're not playing, oh no, we are. We are playing disarm. Okay, good. All right, good. Now that I know you're playing disarm, disarm is like the most important thing versus warriors, 100. percent So keep that in mind. Try to use that with avatar. It's like it's very very important. Um, let me see these talents. Good. Good. Yeah, the only thing I would change is drop this uh, this talent right here. I think this is Tear of Morning, and then put it into the second one here. I was messing around with this one right here. I don't know if I like it that much. I thought I liked it, but I think you're better off getting more value out of your Renewing Mist from this talent. So I would just put that second point there, and then you should be good. But everything else looks fine. Let's see. Hunter, uh, always oh, got the magic booster. Um, yeah, Hunter is probably the kill target. Mark's hunters aren't really that mobile. Uh, disarm versus this is gonna be a little weird. I would recommend. So what you're gonna do with the first disarm is you want to disarm the true shot aura. Okay, it it sucks, but you're gonna have to just like heal through the warrior damage, and you're gonna have to disarm the true shot, and then your second disarm can be on the warrior, and then your third disarm is on the true shot because it should line up, and then, um, but true shot you can't let them like free cast during it. Uh, this looks like Thunder Focus T, Zen Focus T. So we're just free cast here. Yeah, we're chilling. Um, I would definitely recommend playing Eminence versus Hunters, though, for this reason exactly. Because we, you know, stun into trap is is a pretty big thing. Unless your Demon Hunter plays reverse, which it would be ideal. I'm hoping your, your Demon Hunter plays reverse. Uh, nice root. Oh, nice root beam. We get trap there. Or trap. Uh, we get bubble there. We try to rob, but yeah, bubbles up. I think. Yeah, right here. There's like three, two, one, almost. Actually, like really, really close. It's half though, because it, this is a in cap DR. So I think you got trapped, I believe, from the hunter. So it's gonna DR each other. This is actually a good in cap for you. Uh, we did trinket there though. Do we have to trinket? Let me see. Yeah, we definitely did. Yeah, damn. It's too bad because uh, this would have delayed their go a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. We definitely need to not be out in the open though, because if the hunter kicks you. It could be some trouble. All right, that's Hodge on you. I he has trap too. Nice bash on the boomy. I don't think the boomy knows how good of a bash this is, but this uh, that bash stopped the hunter from trapping you, which is really good. Um, and then usually when hunters are doing this, I would just kite them like around the pillar, because they can't they can't get the trap without a stun. 
We actually might still be on in cap TR for a little bit. We sweep the hunter. That's fine. <laughs> nope. Chat full. Okay. Nice stun from the demon hunter. Damn. Let me see. This first go. So I would definitely play eminence 100%. Because then you can port this stun. And you don't get trapped. It, it always comes down to the opener and shuffles, I feel like. Or, you know, or if your Demon Hunter is playing reverse. I don't know why your Demon Hunter isn't playing reverse versus Hodge rep and trap. You know, so, you know, it's not just a you issue right here. I think your Demon Hunter definitely could have played reverse and gotten your, your CC. Uh, but, yeah, when whenever a pally, by the way, whenever a pally is playing repentance and they bubble, get out. Get Start lying immediately, instantly. Because you do not want to be here for this. Uh, they're, they're, no one can stop it. So they're going to try to go for rep. Try to line as much as you can. Make them waste time in the bubble trying to get to you. And then you you won't get CC'd. This is half though. It's just it's too bad we had to trigger this because it would delay the go a little bit. But that's okay. Um, let me see. We got Mark's Hunter, Havoc Demon Hunter. Again, it's going to be a Hunter. It's going to be a Hunter thing. Um, I, th I think it's just run down the Mark's Hunter. And then what you're playing, Boomy. Oh, he's a Boomy, not a Feral, by the way. He's Boomy. So Boomy, what, Warrior? Yeah, Boomy Warrior should be able to just run down this Hunter. I'm going to be honest. What I want you to do, first of all, get your doing missed up ASAP uh, as, as fast as possible. That's the most important thing. Demon Hunter's trying to hit you. That's fine. Good, Renew your missed. Beautiful. Good. Awesome. And then let's try to just stay like near the pillar. Actually, you know what you should do is try to go for in-caps. On... Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Looking good there. Into a bash. Into a potential Cyclone. We'll see. No. No Cyclone. That's okay. Zen Focus T here. Try to take advantage of the Zen Focus T. I, the Hunter has the range kick. So you can use Zen Focus T to keep your team alive. Not get kicked by the Hunter. Rop here. Ooh. Rop into the wall. Stalin on the pally. That's Bop on the pally as well. That's on the Hunter. Nice um, root beam from the Balance Druid, which is really good. Stun on you. Might get trapped off this. We do get trapped. We'll hope when they break it. No, that's too bad. Yeah, I definitely tried playing Eminence. Oh, actually, wait. Did you just show your talents? What are you playing? Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Could have sworn you showed your talents. Yeah, right here. Yeah, oh, we are playing Eminence. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you you are playing Eminence. You just have to take advantage of it more. That's all. Um, whenever you get stunned, whenever you're you know you 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 you're playing um, nameplate cooldowns right here, so you could see when traps available, and it looks like trap is available. Let me see. Let me go back to where we were. Da, 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 right here. Uh, let's see if we are in range. So now the issue is if we're in range of port, because if we're not in range of port, yeah, we're not right here. So always try to be in range of your port at all times, 100%. Whether it's to avoid CC, avoid you know interrupts, avoid damage, it doesn't matter what it is. Port is normally the first cooldown you're going to press for any of that. And we get rooted too. So yeah, you can port while rooted as well too. Uh, just keep that in mind. Um, so we got, we're doing mist going, be healing on your... It looks like your warrior is kind of taking the brunt of it. Oh no, it looks like your boomy. They're just going to run down the boomy. It might be an unfortunate lobby for your boomy as well. Great in cap here. We sweep off. Do we? No. DR Hodge is kind of good, though, because uh, now you can't get stunned into trap for a little bit. Incap on you, put you on trap DR again. They're kind of wasting all their DRs on you, which is really good. So we just need to not be stacked. Good. Just kind of just stay far away from the fight. Um, we're a sacrifice and sack there. Again, this this trap is half, which is really good for you. Repentance, this is triple DR, man. This is looking really good for you. Somehow your boomy needs to get a little damage out. That's all your boomy needs to do. Next root beam. Hopefully we can get a sweep on something or a stun or anything. I'm hoping your great clone on the on the holy pallet here. We're looking for a stormbolt on the hunter. Oh, clone on the hunter. Okay, stormbolt the hunter. Root beam. Nice in cap. Hopefully we get some. Do we have root beam soon? Trap on you. Nice root beam. Hopefully we have a stun for either. Either. All right, that's bubble from the from the uh, from the pallet there. That's really good. Um, bark skin from your boomy frenzy regen. We th we should live. We should live. I know we trinketed. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of the same global. Yeah, we definitely should be fine here. So we should have time for another go. But let's see. 
I don't think we're playing Disarm. I forget if we're playing Disarm or not. But we can Disarm the Hunter. That's Bob. It's a little unfortunate. Bob is so annoying. It's like your your warrior. I guess your warrior could technically shatter it if he gets it, but that's pretty much it. If he, if he's playing a nice in cap here, I love these in caps on the pally. By the way, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Any CC on the pally is good. Um, great cocoon here on the boomy. Fantastic. Right before CC, you can port this too. You are in range of your port, uh, so you you could port, but it's the hunter's bash. So I think you should be okay here. Good. If we have disarm, I'd probably disarm the hunter. Because uh, he has true shot in 50. So he should have disarm again back by the time he has true shot. So I would disarm the hunter to stop any, you know, slow down any damage while you're kicked or while you're, you know, you're in stun or CC'd. Um, Shaylin's gift here is massive. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Trap on you. I uh, hope maybe a dart. Oh, no. Maybe rally if we have it. Nice renewing miss there. Barks in from you, Druid. Great. In cap on UCR. I don't know, your warrior might die. Velp missed here. Oh, hard casting Velp missed. Oh. Okay. Good. Oh my god. <clears throat> it's just so much damage. Your poor Boomy just. It, what dampening is this? 65% dampening? It just seems like your Boomy can't do enough damage. It might be just an unfortunate lobby for the Boomy. I'm not going to lie. Um. I'm trying to think of things that we can improve upon. So definitely port while stunned. Like you could definitely port the CC on you um, when you're stunned, which is you know very good. Great in caps on the boom, on the holy pally as well. Be careful when you're playing with this hunter though, because it is going to dr trap. So when you're playing with this hunter, you pretty much just have to heal. And then yeah, the hunter is we're making it a little easy for the hunter to CC us because we're just standing here, right? And the hunter just throws a trap. I'm pretty sure right here, right? Yep, just throws it. Um, so you want to stay away from the hunter. I would say play in the room. That way it's awkward for him to try to get to you. Play on the pillar. Something just to get away from the hunter. That way it's not so easy for them to trap you. But we're, we're about to see. Let's see. I think the boomy is going to maybe ha probably have some issues um, with doing damage. Just because it's a full melee lobby versus a poor balance druid. Um, and then what are we playing against? Havoc Demon Hunter. Havoc Demon Hunter boomy. Uh, Zen Focus T is going to be good. If we get Zen Focus T, the root beam. Oh, good, good. Yeah, definitely want to cap out our vault for sure. Got to get that. Got to get the tokens. You know, get some, get some slots, get some. Uh... All right, demon hunter, good. Mystic touches up on the demon hunter, which is really good. Renewing mist, renewing mist, beautiful. All right, be careful. Okay, good. This is a really, really good sweep. I like that sweep a lot. So I would just remember that. Just always try to get double sweeps whenever you can off cooldown. Maybe standing here for a kick. Like I'm seeing. All right, don't don't stay around too long though. Don't don't stick around too long. These aren't your friends. All right, that's a bop on what the boomy. Nice in cap. I, remember it it does dr. Oh, do we panda too? Okay. All right, all right. The 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 pally kick this kick. Yes. Oh, beautiful kick. Root beam on you. But don't forget that your in cap and your panda dr trap. I think your hunter just trapped, so it's not that big a deal. But keep that in mind. If you're like halfway through dr and you go for an in cap, the hunter's probably gonna get a. You're going to get a Rage Whisper from the Hunter. And I know that from experience because, uh, you know, mistakes happen sometimes. Um, doing a good job here. Getting Cloud of Focus. We get Rep Full. Was that Reverse or was it Broken? That was definitely Broken from the Demon Hunter. Uh, diffuse Magic. Beautiful. Fantastic Diffuse Magic here. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Good Rop here too. Okay. Oh, we're running. We're not healing. We have Zen Focus T. Nice port. Big healing. Beautiful. Pour it again. Pour it a second time. See this buff right here? This buff right here is Escape from Reality right there. What that does is it allows you to pour a second time. And in fact, what it does is when if you get kicked with this buff up, you could still pour it a second time. So what, what I do a lot is after I pour it, I'll try to get kicked so I can pour it a second time. Great job there. Now we get the cooldown reduction on Eminence. We're doing a good job here. Fantastic. Get rooted. That's okay. We're doing, I think we're doing a really good job with uh, just staying alive. We use Essence Font there. I don't know if that's a Panic Essence Font or or what, but um, still looking good. Cocoon there is fine. Uh, hopefully looking for, well, let's see what happens here. Repents. I think it just broke. I think the boom just broke that, that Repentance, which is fantastic. That's really good for us. <laughs> uh, maybe Clone on you. Uh, Rupee on you. It's fine. It's okay. 
clone nice good go for an in cap on the pally here after we recover would be nice uh it seems like our team is kind of struggling to get to the the boomy now you know i mean hunters hunters aren't very easy to heal for misweavers especially with feign death uh rep on you there comes a hunt oh oh what's he doing oh where is he going <laughs> okay <laughs> all right okay demon hunter could decide who to hunt um in cap is great here comes the hunt we could immune it with revival for playing peace fever i don't think we are though um we poured away yeah just focus on healing shaylin's gift here yeah shaylin's gift unfortunately is like it's it's shaylin's gift is good when people are at like 50 60 percent health it's never good when someone's low it's, it's just not which is kind of unfortunate it's too long of a cast time um overall I, this game wasn't going terrible for you in, in my opinion um the issue was i think it's mostly our positioning because we're kind of all over the map i think i would just say on this map in particular if you're playing with two melee so you, you have two options right if you're playing with two melee you kind of want the middle pillar that way your melee can push in you can still heal them if you're playing with the caster you want the room so i would say fight for this middle pillar if you can't get it like get play on this corner a little bit and then hopefully they position in the middle of the map you can roll between the room and the in the like middle area um but i would definitely try to utilize eminence to avoid uh repentance a little bit more that way it, it's not really an option for them because they only have hodge what every once every 20 what every 40 seconds maybe so you know i would i would say you should have a port for every time they have hodge so then you could port the hodge and then you'll get repent i mean it's a lot easier said than done trust me i get repped all the time but let's see what we got here we got marks hunter balance druid versus demon hunter arms warrior so this should just be run down the balance druid. you could actually run down any of these targets which is fine i would also argue that zen spheres is also pretty good so keep that in mind as well zen sphere could be a good option for you too um drop a zen focus t um and then we have disarm here so disarm uh, is mostly gonna be used for true shot. so that's true shot right there by the way this is true shot boom he, this hunter did not wait to try to cc you didn't wait for the pally to try to cc you did nothing so instantly disarm this hunter maybe go for an in cap hold your in cap because what's going to happen is this hunter is probably going to trinket this disarm let's just see oh no do we we're not disarming yet it's fine if you trinket if, if he trinkets the disarm he'll probably you could just in cap the trinket but nice we, i think we got a fear there which is pretty good so that's that's good our our demon hunter did some peeling there cyclone coming in hot we could still disarm the hunter so even though you're root beamed right now by the way you can still do stuff like you could still in cap you can still disarm uh you can still panda didn't know you could still panda during that and you can still sweep so you have a lot of options here you could theoretically disarm the hunter here before the cyclone to stop like slow down some damage i don't think you can kick the cyclone because it looks like he has a precog or no he has a uh or mastery so no uh you could in cap this could in cap this clone disarm the hunter but we get uh we, we just get trapped which i'm not mad about i'm not mad about that at all definitely still want to try to disarm this hunter beautiful disarm there great 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 disarm um not a lot of damage coming out we could kick this clone that's okay if we don't uh but we could i think that was bop that looked like bop i think it was um but i think we might have purged it i don't know i think we purged it which is we're not, we're not mad about that nice cocoon here great work here uh but yeah this is this is kind of where our position kind of kind of starts to fall down a little bit i would just focus right now we just use life cocoon we're keeping our team alive um i would just say go to the pillar and chill as much as you can hunters eat you good fort brew here don't have to dampen harm uh los should be enough good rob here really good rob well done well done yeah, no, we do. That's really, really good peeling for yourself there. We use diffuse and dampen, but that's our. We use four and dampen, but that's okay. That's all right. This hunter, uh, what you could do again, panda him, in cap him, disarm him, sweep. It doesn't matter. Just stop. Yeah, a beautiful panda there. Did he trick it, the panda? That's that's a big value out of panda there. Holy cow. Okay, nice and focus T on the root beam. Oh my god, that's actually crazy. You could. You, you could run out of this root beam right now, by the way. 
Yeah, use Zen Focus T to that's crazy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You wanna again, one one tricky thing. This is the tricky part about Mistweaver, is when two like two plus people are taking damage. You always want to keep renewing mist going on everybody, no matter who's taking damage. That way, if they ever do swap to somebody else, you can keep them alive. That's blur from your demon hunter. Great work. You could also disarm the hunter as well. I don't think he'll true shot how long a true shot. Oh, he, he has true shot available, so let's just keep that in mind. Nice sweep here. Really good sweep. Stops the trap. Stun on you. Could still port. Kick the clone. Nice stun on the on the boomy. Give me a Todd. Why, why is this called Epic Fail? That was a great round. Good Zen Focus T on the root beam. Good job peeling for yourself. Good use of Panda. I, I don't think you freaked out that bad. I'm not going to lie. I used to freak out way more than that. I used to press every button. We did use Fort Brew and Dampen, but that's okay. You know, usually LOSing is good enough, especially versus Marks Hunters, because they can't really do, they don't have dots or anything, you know? It's just like, oh, love it. Love it. Um, but I mean, I think we do a good job peeling for ourselves and, and staying alive. So good work here. Uh, Zen Sphere instead of uh, Zen Focus T, I think I like. I think Zen, I think Zen Sphere is just really, I, I would almost say it's mandatory. I don't like to say when things are mandatory because obviously it's PVP and things change. But I think that Zen Sphere is like a really, really good uh, spell to have in, in Solo Shuffle where damage, it, it, damage is pretty much the only thing that matters, right? Like you're at you're such high dampening that Da the more damage you do, the more you, the higher chance you have at winning. So great job putting renewing mist on everybody. Mystic touch there on the warrior. Looks like they kind of want to hit your hunter, which is fine. I think that's disarming the warrior there. Good, good, nice trap on the pally. So yeah, we're looking for a uh, maybe a sweep on the boomy. Careful, we're not playing. Yep, hopefully we have a reverse. I don't think we have reverse. Okay, good. All right, we all you. The only time you're scared versus boomies is during root beam. So, as long as you're able to nice stun on that, kick that nice clone. That's fine. You got the cocoon off. We got blur on the demon hunter. Everyone should be fine during the cyclone. Even if they get a recyclone, you should be fine. Repentance on you is gonna be kind of annoying. That's okay though. We they rever we reverse it. That's beautiful. And then you want to keep your Zen Sphere up on the boomy. I don't see it up on the boomy. But whenever you get the chance, like that's that's really good. I think it's ten percent extra damage from all your teammates, which is just insane. Um, but good job healing here. Good job. Put, try to put renewing mist on. Try to put renewing mist on everybody. Uh, obviously, your what your demon hunters in a cyclone right now. But keep your renewing mist on your on the main target. At least that's Bob. We could rob the cyclone. I think he just got precog. I don't know. It feels like they have the same animation. Root beam on you. We still have trinket. We have cycle or we have cyclone. We have leg sweep. This might be trinket here. Yeah, sadly. Uh, Hodge on you. Kind of sucks. Uh, but we have blur from your demon hunter, which is great. Stun on you is fine. Uh, we have we have disarm for the warrior as well. So keep that in mind. We have disarm for the warrior. Could definitely use it if we get kicked to start to fall behind. Shadowlands gift, we got it. That's great. Unfortunately, your demon hunter was cyclone, so we didn't get the healing. So that is what it is. Rop there is fine too. Hunt. Oh, we life cocoon the demon hunter. Be healing here. Darkness from your demon hunter. That's that's good too. That's second bot by the way in the boomy. Damn. I think the, I think the life cocoon should have went on your hunter. Hunters are way squishier than demon hunters, uh, so I think you're probably better off just. Because I think the hunter's been the main target the whole game. I think you're better off uh, life cocooning the hunter than the demon hunter. Because if the demon hunter still has darkness, like at least that's a defensive cooldown. But overall, I, I don't think this match was terrible. I, re I really don't think it was terrible. There was just some unfortunate lobbies. You know, holy pallies. You know, it is what it is. But I, what we could do better, definitely port, port CC a lot more. You know, if you get stunned and you see a hunter pushing in for trap, you see, you know, a boomy trying to cyclone you, a, a pally trying to rep you, just port out, you know. Um, try to stay far away from your port. That way they can't, you know, position to make it easier for them to get it. Um, and then keep doing mist on everybody as much as you can, because obviously, you know, you get more healing that way. But I, I would say overall that match wasn't, wasn't terrible. That, that was, that was not a terrible match like at all. Let's see. All right. So we have, let's see. What is this? An Ellie Shaman? We got Resto Shaman. What the? Guardian Druid? Okay. Yuki. That 
one doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, Guardian Shoot is weird, man. Wait, is this one still playing? No. Alright, so we have uh, Acid Rogue. Oh, Acid Rogue Affliction Warlock with... What do we have? Mage. Probably Arcane Mage. And Demon Hunter. Oh, it's going to be good. Okay, okay, let's see what we got. I would also, listen, I, I don't comment on people's UIs, but I would recommend probably getting Omni CD just so you could track your teammates' cooldowns. Uh, it makes things a lot easier. Uh, sap on you. Oh, he's a fire mage, okay. He dotted you, so the sap, oh no. Nope, look at the wrong frame. Um, but miss, it looks like they want to kill your demon hunter. And they've already kicked you, so you should be fine to just, okay, now we're stunned. Fear, this should break instantly, yep. Do we just revival there? Without Peace Weaver. Okay, so one thing to note. Versus Affliction Warlocks, you want to play regular Revival with Peace Weaver. So that's what you want to do. Because what regular Revival does is it's going to dispel all these magical, magic debuffs, especially Unstable Affliction. This is like the main one. And then Peace Weaver is going to make it so you don't take any damage when you dispel it. Because you take damage when you dispel it. So versus Affliction, normal Revival with Peace Weaver, PvP talent. Uh, we got Yulon going though, so that's really good. Uh, that's Blur from Demon Hunter. MC on you. Nice. It's super DR. Nice Rob here. Beautiful Rob. On the Priest. We get kicked. It's okay. Um, I think we need Thunder Focus T with Instant Enveloping Mist is what I would recommend right now. Go for an Instant Vivify because I think we have it right here. Instant Vivify into a Thunder Focus T Enveloping Mist. Heal Elixir to heal yourself. Fort Brew and Dampen Harm used on you as well. So we, we're not dying. Uh, I just think it's going to be your, your poor mage I think is going to die. Uh, nice life cocoon there. Oh, kill the priest. Nice sweep. Todd? If only Todd worked. If only Todd decided to show up to work. Um, but yeah, now we're kind of pushed in. So be careful because rogues have kidney shot. Oh, they just DR'd stuns on you, which is really good. Yeah, roll. Oh, no, we don't have roll. Oh, no. We don't have roll. Nice healing elixir. Great use of healing elixir. Uh, I don't know. So the issue is we double rolled in with no way out, um, which is very scary. It's, it, especially versus rogues rogues and pallies are the two classes where you want to be very careful when you do that because rogues have kidney shot and pallies have hodge and they, they're just like two of the longest stuns in the game and we're weak in stuns so be always have an exit strategy uh we maybe could have in the rogue maybe but i think we're probably still gonna die because the warlock had dodge rolling so just keep that in mind whenever you try to roll in uh always have always have an exit plan always always have an escape plan um, Affliction Warlock's going to be pretty, you know, always going to have a lot of sustained damage. Um, try to use, yep. So what you're going to want to do is swap this Restore right here to Normal Revival. And then play Peace Weaver. Um, oh, hello. Is what I would recommend at least. That That's what I would do. Nice. We have Health Stones though. We have Health Stones. All right. We have Acid Rogue. Havoc Demon Hunter. So yeah, I don't mind playing Eminence versus this. Or Eminence uh, Restore versus this. Zen Focus T. Yeah, it could be dropped. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Zen Spheres is normally good, though, because it gives you extra healing for your Warlock that will kind of struggle to stay alive. Okay, cool. Mage Lock. So what your job here is to never in cap. Nice, great Rogue Out. That's so good. That's actually so good. Uh, open with the Kidney Shot on you. Um, Death Mark, too. Nice Dampen Harm here. I, so right, as, soon as, as soon as you leave CC... And you see a rogue like running away. I would instantly Yulon. Just Yulon instantly. It's going to put a big shield on it. Well, big, biggest shield. And then you use like your Thunder Focus T and Velvet Mists uh, with like massive healing. Seven Focus T here. Big healing. Good. And then you're already using Velvet Mist right here anyway, right? So you're just going to get more healing. Life Cocoon on the D. On, on who? On your Warlock. Yep. On your Warlock. That's Hunt on you. We port. Careful because he can just rush. We could port right here or gate. Be careful. Nice in cap. Beautiful in cap. Oh my god, that's such a good in cap. Maybe get a fear. Oh my god, great fear from your warlock. Just help me around. That's fantastic. Uh, port up, maybe? If we have it. But we don't have it. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see what you mean now. We're kind of freaking out a little bit. We don't, don't freak out when people go you. Don't freak out. It's the same thing as when somebody else goes somebody else except it's on you. Uh, we use Life Cocoon on our warlock. Um, and then they hunt you. And then we port, which is really good. And then from here, <clears throat> great, great. We have Thunder Focus, we have Yulon. So Yulon, again, Yulon puts a pretty decent shield on people. And then the hot is really, really good. So usually if you get a pre-hot like hot from Yulon, you should be fine. 
Um, so great in cap here, even though your, your Warlock isn't happy right now because there's an unstable affliction on this Demon Hunter and we in-cap it off. So your Warlock probably hates you just a little bit, but that's okay because they kill targets rogue. So this is fine. Desperate times, call for desperate measures. Great in-cap here. And then, yeah, I would just Yulon, maybe Thunder Focus Team, Velvet Mist here. We also have Health Zone, Diffuse Magic, uh, Fort Brew. So let's see. Yeah, so we have buttons here. We, we definitely have buttons. We have Health Zone. So just don't freak out, basically. When teams go you, don't freak out. Take a look at your buttons. What do we got? Yulon. Thunder Focus Team Velvet Mist is insane. And on the same GCD, you could also go for Health Zone. You also have Diffuse Magic and Fort Brew. So keep that in mind. You have a lot of buttons to press. Try, don't freak out. <clears throat> we also had Zen Focus D coming back up too. Uh, and the Rogue was almost dead. So you're, you're close to winning. You're very close to winning. It's just trying to live just a little bit longer. That's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, Zen Sphere is good. <clears throat> is this Mage? Oh, Mage isn't happy. That's Mage. Mage will get through it somehow. I think the Mage will will deal with it. <laughs> uh, we're playing Rogue Mage right now. So these are the two. By the way, these are the two classes that uh, I personally hate healing. I can't. You can, monks can't heal rogues or mages. We have no damage reductions. We have life cocoon. And that's it. That's all we got for him. So we just have to win through pure damage. That's a kidney shot. Great rob here. Beautiful rob. Kidney shot on your warlock. Warlock gets uh, trinket already. Sweep is dr, which is fine. Probably want to save that sweep for pal or the priest. But maybe we just get a top. That's all. Listen, that's all it is, baby. That's all it's about. Getting that great rob. Great job. Great round. Probably would have saved my uh, sweep for the. Which we'll call it the priest. But besides that, fantastic job. Actually, the trinket, the sweet made it so. No, I probably would have saved it, saved it for the priest. So good work, though. Fantastic work. What are we playing here? Uh, yeah, I would. We're playing against what? Warlock. Peace Weaver. Zen Focus C. What's the th What's the third class? Peace Weaver. Zen Focus C. Zen Spheres. That's all it is. Zen Sphere for the range kicks. Peace Weaver for the Affliction Warlock. Um, Zen Sphere so that they take more damage. That's that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, kill Target's probably going to be... I would hit the Fire Mage. I would hit the Fire Mage versus this. If the Affliction Warlock is any good, uh, they'll just keep themselves alive. They have a lot of healing. So I would, I would probably go Fire Mage. It, you don't want them... Oh, nice, nice. I'm going to knock you. That's fine. Nice in cap there on the poly. Rop off. Ooh, almost. That's okay. The the angle on the bridge is a little weird. Ice wall on you. Uh, there's actually <laughs> not a whole lot you can do. You can maybe parkour your way over here, but oh, is that focus T? How is that not lining? Oh no. Oh no. Revival maybe? You see, oh no, oh my god, that poor round, that poor round. Uh, yeah, I would, um, let me see, let me see. Uh, yeah, I would just roll over here. You have, you have a Chi Torpedo. You have Tiger's Lust, probably. I don't think I use Tiger's Lust. You also have Revival, too. So, what I would do is I would either, I would roll over here. Yeah, I would bite the bullet, probably eat the fear from the priest, but it's better than being locked out. Yeah, actually, the priest, where are you? Oh, the, yeah, the priest is right here. Priest hasn't used fear yet. You could probably in-cap the mage too. Oh, we've already in-cap the mage too. We've already used Rop as well. Yeah, you're you're looking at like uh you could jump, maybe sweep the mage, but I would I would have rolled Chi Torpedo will get you to about here, and then you have to run up, but it's better than being obviously ice walled off. So and then you still have life cocoon. And then revival, do we press it? We press revival, but I don't know if anyone got healed by it. It's kind of weird. But yeah, that's yeah. I would yeah, just roll. Yeah, I mean we get polyed, but and then they root you down here. You can tiger's lust this. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Just unfortunate. Oh, your Yulon also is a shield too. Uh, keep that in mind. Your Yulon can give you like a range shield, I, and it works LOS too, which is pretty good. Yeah, he ice nobody. Yeah, ice wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ice wall. You could t theoretically you could kill it. Thunder Focus T, Rising Sun Kick, Tiger Palm, Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, Spinning Crane Kick probably kills it. But 
Especially if it's actually, you could probably kill it because it uses percentage of the caster's health. And if they're using the glass cannon, you should be able to kill it because they have less health. So yeah, you should be able to kill that. But there's a few options. Either roll or kill it. There's not many other options. I wish your teammates saw it so they could help you. But they did not. Like if your demon hunter came to the edge, you'd be fine. Stunned. If you're playing eminence, we can port. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about right there. And look at that. You avoid the fear. Look at that. All right, we get poly. That's fine. We trinket revival. Okay. Nice sweep on the mage. Nice. Careful. Don't die. No. Who is that? Who died? Is that the rogue? No. Not the rogue. Demon hunter? I don't know who just died on our team. Actually. I don't even know what just happened this round. Let me see. We port the CC, which is great. Oh, you were like that. Dev focus tier, which is fine too. We port the CC, which is fantastic. Can you shot in the priest? Oh, we kind of, we eat the poly, but then we trink it, right? Yeah, we trink it. Revival. Yeah, it mostly comes down to positioning. If you, Like right now, what you should do probably is, is life cocoon your warlock. And then eat this fear. It sucks, but you, you you have to. You have to. So life cocoon your warlock. Eat the fear. Eat the eat the follow up polys. But the life cocoon should be strong enough to like live through it. But it sucks that you couldn't live like a second longer because then you could life cocoon it. Yeah, that one just comes from Mistweaver. There's just games where it's gonna come down to pre life cocooning. Like you need to pre life cocoon. CC or it's just you you lose <laughs> like that's it you need to like while the poly's getting cast you need to life cocoon or your guy they're gonna have to trink it if you don't have trink it you're gonna your teammate's gonna die so it sucks but that's the that's that's the part about learning about Mistweaver right is like knowing which situations to do that in um it's not easy but it, 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 with practice you'll be able to get it I promise let's see nice 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 port down beautiful Oh, we don't have a statue. Oh no, we don't have a statue. No statue. Stun on you. All right, let's see what. Let's see how we evaluate the situation here. Uh, there is death mark rolling. Let's see what we got. We could gate. Is warlock on our team? Yeah, we could gate. We can restore. Nah, no, I saved that for stun. Maybe just Yulon healing elixir, thunder focus team, velvet miss. Sweep here too. Nice in cap. Nice job healing for yourself. Beautiful. Mind game's on you. Careful, careful, careful. Mind game's on you. Mind game's on you. Life cocoon. Okay. We didn't have to life cocoon here. We had, we had a lot of buttons. We So one thing you need to utilize a little bit more is your instant healing. First of all, you want to dispel this, this uh, mind game's instantly. But what you could do is Yulon. Your instant healing is, is anything that's like off the GCD. So you could Yulon in that GCD. Health Zone, Healing Elixir, Thunder Focus and then go for an Development Mist when you have the GCD back. And that is like, you you won't die. You also have Emblem rolling too. So we just used Emblem, Life Cocoon. At least we have Trinket. And we also use Revival there too. So, Poly on us. Usually Life Cocoon is the last cooldown I use because it's the only, it's the only cooldown we could put on somebody. Which sucks. <laughs> like, it's the only cooldown we have that I could, oh, you're in trouble? Let me use this on you. So, Ice Wall, nice darkness. Ice Wall is not good, so that's really good. We are playing Eminence, so be careful. You want to get in range of your port. Uh, the Kidney Shot soon. Kidney Shot is soon. So let's be careful now. You want to get in range of your port. Stun on you. This is actually a bad stun by them, so this is good. This is where That's also, oh, that's good. That's block. That's good. That's good. And they proc'd him. So we're looking. We're getting feared out of range of our port, but that's okay. Because we should be nice for because we're on stun yard right now. So we're looking. Then focus D here. Go for a cast. Nice. Nice drop on the priest. Poly on you. Hopefully your warlock. Yeah, I don't know if your warlock has cooldowns or not. You're probably going to get feared here. Shadowlands gift. Oh, we get knocked on it. Nice roll. Oh, no. Port. I would just port. Oh. Yeah, that's right, baby. We get that dub, baby. Easy. Easy. Yeah, this was pretty good. Don't, again, I, I see what you mean when you freak out when like teams go you. Uh, you get used to it. The, the, you, you get used to it. <laughs> so, um, great job peeling for yourself here. You didn't trinket. You didn't freak out. 
Uh, great work. I would probably would have revival just because it looks like it's combustion. So that's the one thing. But besides that, no, great work peeling here. Stun from your Demon Hunter, incap by you. Um, just be careful with the mind games right here. Mind games is kind of why you're dying right now, is because that's why your health keeps ticking down every time you heal. It's because of mind games. Um, but we again, don't forget Yulon. Don't forget Health Stone. Don't forget your healing elixirs. That's all really good instant healing that you have. And you, you also have Fort Brew, Diffuse Magic, Dampen, or Fort Brew. Yeah, Diffuse Magic, Dampen Arm. Got it mixed up there. Uh, so Life Cocoon is normally the last button I use because I can't use any of these other buttons on other people. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, no, great game. Great job peeling for yourself. Great job staying alive. Some of the matchups are just tough. I'm not going to lie. Some of the matchups are just really hard. So you kind of just got to roll with it. There's going to be issues. You know, you're going to have bad matchups. So this is a Disc Priest, it looks like. So this, normally this should be somewhat of a favored matchup as long as you pressure the disc priest normally versus disc priest you kind of want to fist weave um but this is a destro lock fury warrior with a looks like a rogue and a warrior uh yeah so you're just running at the warlock pretty much wrong is this a full melee lobby besides the destro lock in a perfect world perfect world this lock goes 06 um just letting you know that. So that's dome straight off the rip. We're looking for a ROP instantly on this dome. Oh, oh, we don't have to because the Warlock port's out. <laughs> okay. Uh, we like that a lot. That's also a War Banner. You kind of want to kill this when you can. Nice in cap on the Priest. Good. Um, all right. It goes away anyway. Uh, PI on, your, on the Priest. Well, great. Right here is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if you meant to do it or not, but you did it. This is a pre-life cocoon on the fear, and now you don't have to trinket. This is exactly what I'm talking about in the last game, where you were kind of running away from the priest, and then you tried to life cocoon, but you got feared. Using the life cocoon before the fear, and now your teammate is chilling, is, is the most important. Oh, it's a windwalker. Okay, windwalker. That's fine. And, and your teammate died. What, what the heck? Bro, that was a perfect life cocoon. Does your warrior not press any buttons? Okay, this, this loss, by the way... Not on. I'm, I'm, this loss ain't on you. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Let me see. Is there, wait, were there bolts coming in hot here? Let me see. It's a fear. No, it was. It was actually all just the warrior. Um, I don't think your warrior pressing buttons, but that's why I would recommend playing Omni CD or downloading Omni CD. That way you could track what cooldowns, uh, your your teammates have and trinkets, especially trinkets, cooldowns, stuff like that. Very, very important for solo shuffle because some people just they, just, they just, they just don't press buttons or they press them at like awkward times and it's hard to tell like if you should react or if they should. Um, yeah, I don't think that loss was on you though. I'm gonna be honest here. Nice, kill arms. All right, we're killing the arms warrior. We're looking for probably a disarm. We don't need Zen Focus T versus this. Disarm, Zen Sphere. I don't even know what the last one is. Peace Weaver, maybe, for just a shorter cooldown. Disarm Zen Sphere Eminence, in case they try to go you. But it doesn't they just want the Warlock, so... I would put Zen Sphere on your Warlock, and then just start healing. Hopefully dome this, or <laughs> rop this. Nice in-cap here, beautiful in-cap here. Really, really good. Um, Yulon there, nice rop there to stop the fear, great job. And he pressed fear! Nice life cocoon. He pressed fear, so you're chilling right now, by the way. Uh, they, have, they have no CC for you. Stormbolt and Intimidating Shout is what they have for you. Um, and that's it. So they're probably going to press it soon. I would say very far away. That's one fear from the one of the warriors. Yeah. The thing, the good thing about Disc Priest is they have very little mobility to try to get to you. Right? So they should struggle to get to you. Hopefully getting a gate. Beautiful gate. Good. Shalem's Gift. Uh, and then what we want is I want to see a sweep coming out too. Both these warriors are going to be stacked up the whole game. This guy isn't playing Trinket. He's playing Human Racial. This guy doesn't have Trinket. So what you could do is you could just press your Leg Sweep. And this guy would sit it. This guy's probably going to Human it. And then you could Disarm as well off that. Uh, that way, you know, you just have a ton of CC for him. Nice. Oh, nice Sweep on the Priest. I don't mind that. That's good. That's good. Nice Fear on the Priest off that. Great great Sweep on the Warriors from your Windwalker too. So... Uh, that's parry from the arm from the arms warrior. Um, your poor warlock is just probably just getting trained to the dirt, poor guy. And we do have Rop as well, so keep that in mind. Uh, we do have Ring of Peace. If your warlock ports to the room, I would yeah. So right now, what I would do is I would put a Rop right on the room, so that way they can't get to him immediately. That's what I would do. 
you want to make it very very difficult give him give give your warlock any free time to just cast um we do have life cocoon soon we also have disarm too so keep that keep that in mind we do have disarm very very soon we have it now actually so you could disarm something to slow any of the damage we also have life cocoon too and we do have trinket so i would probably just life cocoon here yeah good that's a massive life cocoon too so what just happened to it oh they're playing that dumb shatter aren't they oh no no, no it's still up okay just the frames are a little weird cool nice good sweep here uh in caps on your nice kick on the priest from the warlock nice drop as well from your windwalker we have sweep uh they're on stun dr so maybe the next stun dr we also want to kill war banner uh, when we can we also have disarm too so i would probably disarm the arms warrior slow down any damage that's disarm the fury warrior damn that's crazy i thought you guys did pretty well that round too there's just gonna be rounds like that where you just have the warriors just freaking like oh running down your warlocks man i don't know that sucks though oh okay this guy wants lock okay all right calm down buddy relax relax okay we get it yeah disarm is good for the for warriors what's the other talent you're playing zen sphere and eminence you don't need eminence versus this because they don't have stuns for you i mean they have storm bolt but if they're storm bolting you they're not storm bolting your dps that's the only stunt they have so you don't need eminence you could probably get away with zen focus t zen focus t for the warlock yeah zen focus t disarm zen sphere is what i'd run versus this that way you don't get kicked Oh, Peace Weaver. No, Peace Weaver, Disarm, Zen Sphere is what I would play. Okay. We're looking good right now. Great job, statue. Boom. We are looking fantastic. Um, we're obviously running at the Warlock. Hopefully, we kill the War Banner. We do, which is great. Um, Warlock is not kicking us, which is even better. <laughs> They want your warrior. Priest just runs in and fears us. We trinket it to in cap. We get kicked there. Careful. Sweep. Nice. Good sweep on the priest. Fear from you from the uh, warrior. We still have, we use disarm, which is good. Half fear on you, which is really good. Stormbolt on you. And then we have we have restoral versus this as well. Um just be careful. You have to life cocoon there on the Windwalker monk. I wish your monk ported a little sooner. That way we didn't have to life cocoon, but it is what it is. Um, if we have Rop, you could Rop him in the room. That way the Warlock can't go anywhere. Nice. Grip from the Priest. Nice. He grips through the Rop. Oh, this should, this should be a win. Riley's going to fall. Riley's going to fall. Kill, 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 kill. So close. Riley's falling. Should be dead. Nice job. Oh, my Lord. Uh, th these games are going to be quick for sure. That was a really good game. Um, the only thing here is, like, we let the Priest just run to us right here. Don't make it, don't make it so easy for the Priest to get to you. I'm talking, like... Put your port on this side of the pillar and pour it to avoid it. In cap, rop, sweep them, anything, panda. Anything you can to make this priest just have the worst time trying to get to you is what I would do. Because you don't want them to get fears for free. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No Destro? Oh, no. What are the warriors at Nabby? So I don't know what that's about. But hope he's okay. Hope he figures it out. Um, yeah, just run down the Destro Lock, I think, is the play here. You're playing Double Warrior. This shouldn't be too hard to do. Um, they have one kick. They have no stuns for you. They're probably going to use sweeps on your Warriors. So you're pretty much just healing. That's all you're doing. Just try and don't get kicked. I would rob this dome instantly uh, just to knock the Warlock out of the dome. But you're you're doing your best to just heal and not get kicked. Oh. Oh my, okay. Uh, I don't think anything got stopped there unless it was all the Windwalker. I don't know what just happened. I don't see any bolts going. I think this was all Windwalker, really. Yeah, I don't see any bolts. Fist of Fury's out. Yeah, not, it's all the Windwalker. I don't, your warriors didn't fear the Serenity, did they? No. Your warriors didn't fear the Serenity, didn't, do not, didn't stun the Serenity, didn't no storm bolts. So this, I don't think this round is on you either um because i mean the warriors just didn't do anything i mean just, they just straight up 
<laughs> they just straight up ate that damage. Rising Sun for 117k. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll that'll freaking do it. Yeah, that 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 round isn't on you, I don't think. I mean, obviously you could trink your cocoon, but I thought your warriors would maybe press a button, you know? Fear could be good versus serenity. I hear fear is pretty good versus serenity. <laughs> so, uh yeah, I don't know. That that that's just a that's just a throwaway round, I think. Windwalker, all right, all right, go Windwalker. Go Windwalker. Let's see what happens. Uh, we're playing Disarm, hopefully, versus the um, Arms Warrior, which is good. Nice Panda on the Warrior. <laughs> priest already feared, so you don't be afraid to push in the CC the Priest here either. Paints up. Fort Brew. So the Windwalker pressed pretty much every button already. Oh, oh my god. Dude, what? Oh my lord. Is this your Warlock? Your Warlock just died so fast. Holy cow. What the heck? I mean, we had... It is Serenity. So normally, I'm not going to lie, versus Serenity, you want to press Life Cocoon. It, no matter what, I think Serenity is one of the scariest cooldowns in the game. So especially if the Windwalker knows how to set it up. So whenever you see Serenity going out, Life Cocoon, the main target of the Windwalker. That, that's what I do. Um... That way, that cooldown lines up with your life cocoon. And every time you, there's serenity, you have life cocoon. Like, every time. Every time. You never want them staggered. You always want to have life cocoon for serenity. That way, they can't do anything. Um, so, that might have been a mistake on our end. Save your life cocoon for serenity. Boom. And now we know for next time. <laughs> but, yeah. 237k rising sun kick will do it. Yeah. No. That will definitely... Uh, that will do it for sure. That's crazy. That damage is crazy, man. My lord. Monk. Uh, yeah, I think Monk is pro. I mean, I think Fury where you can die too. Nice sweep here on the priest. Really, really good. That's trinket from both of them. Oh my god, that's really good. You can get in cap off that too if you want to. Nice fear. Yeah, get in cap off this grip. Beautiful. We kind of overlap a little bit with fear, but uh, try not to do that. That's like really important too. Like you see, the priest is feared. So wait until the end of fear to in-cap. That way you just get a longer CC chain. But hopefully the Windwalker just dies here. Nope, that's Karma. Okay, fear on you. Okay, that's fine. It's DR, thankfully. Uh, Life Cocoon, good. Karma's going to be down in one second. Good. Infernos from your Destro Lock. So hopefully we just, you know, let's just one-shot something. Kick Priest maybe. Kick that. Beautiful. Good work. Just healing here. I think they're going over to your Warrior now. In-cap on you. Hopefully it like has port or gate or something. Oh my lord, man. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I, what I would recommend uh, positioning wise with a warlock is to just stay in the room. Or wherever the port is, wherever your warlock's port is, is where you want to be. That way when they port, you can still keep healing. That's like the most important thing. Um, but yeah, th these were some good games. I'm sorry, I'm, the Guardian Druid game. I feel like this is just a troll. I don't know. I feel like Guardian Druid, like tanks should not be in arena. Um... But hopefully these three games are good enough. Yeah, overall, I don't see a lot of issues. The biggest thing, there's there's a few things I would recommend. First, download Omni CD. That way you could track your teammates' cooldowns. Um, try to make keybinds for targeting your teammates as well. Because obviously, clicking kind of takes away from awareness in the arena. You want always want to be looking here, not over here. So those are the first two things. And then three, um, positioning-wise, you always want to stay close to the pillar. Never out here in the middle of the map. Because Mistweavers, we have a lot of good healing. But if we're in CC, there's there, there's there's nothing we can do about it, right? Like I we can't get out of CC unless we trick it. So you always want to be out of the middle of the map and like on the pillar. If you're playing with a warlock, always be on their port. That way you can keep healing when they port. Try to utilize your eminence more. So eminence you could use and to avoid CC damage, anything like that. It's normally my first cooldown when teams are trying to target me or CC me. Just eminence and avoid the CC. Um, Try, Peace Weaver is also really important. I don't think we used it, but Peace Weaver is really, really good versus casters and like avoiding CC. So mm -mm, try to drop Zen Focus T versus teams that don't have range interrupts or maybe only one range interrupt and try to use utilize that more. And yeah, oh, Disarm 2. You had some good Disarms, but try to keep that in mind. Uh, disarm can be used to stop CC, stop interrupts. Uh, if you're playing against the Hunter, you could Disarm the Hunter and they can't kick you, which is good to know. Um, but yeah, try not to freak out when teams go you either. Uh, 
you you're gonna be fine. Just use your defensive cooldowns, and port port is normally my first cooldown, and then after that, just rotate your three defensives right here, and you will be fine. I promise. And that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all. Uh, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. If hopefully this is helpful for you or anyone that's watching, I am more than happy to answer any questions you have. So that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.